Good afternoon, this is uh, Stephen, and welcome to more of Anatomy uh, 101 for uh, the digestive tract. So that's another clue. Ding, 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 ding. I have a large intestinal small or a pancreatitis issue or pancreas issue, right? That's where my pancreas is located. So when I look at the, and this is a really good point, guys. When we look at the stomach, hydrochloric acid, remember that. But um, right here, I have a very important valve, uh, which is my uh, pyloric sphincter, okay? That's important because that's the valve. You got to remember this. Remember this. The duodenum or duodenum, okay? A small tube. Now, this is so important. That connects the stomach to where? Not the large intestines, the small intestines, guys. That's where it connects to. Why do I bring this up? So, we're talking colonography, right? Or colonoscopies. But why am I bringing up small intestines? Because when I'm in the room, so many people say they're tired, so many people say they're depressed, so many people have these gut issues. But remember, that you have three brains, not one. Well, some of you have no brains, but anyway, you have the brain, you have the heart, and you have the third brain, which is the gut. So the brain and the gut, which means the small and the large intestines are always in constant communication through neurotransmitters. They're always talking and having conversations all day long. Okay, so I want you to understand that. You have three brains, the large and the small intestines. And the reason why I bring this up, so when we look at the small intestines, when people come in, they're tired, they have issues, um, they, 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 their iron is low, their small intestines, which is here, let me hold that up, which is here, is what digests all their foods. So when you eat food through the through your mouth, it goes to your esophageal, your ACL breaks out the food into acids, it goes into your small intestines, where you have microvilli that, that absorbs the foods. And not just foods, but the small intestines takes the food and is converted uh, through the duodenum and into the through the stomach into vitamins, minerals, fats, carbohydrates and proteins okay so this goes into my small intestines okay now the reason I, another reason I bring this up is because so many people in that room are gonna tell you they're depressed they have issues and they on psychiatric psychiatric drugs from allopathic medications so these uh, uh, doctors or therapists they prescribe these psychiatric drugs. They never look at the small intestines and a plant-based diet, right? Good health starts on your plate, what you're eating. And most people's small intestine has been compromised. This is where you dissolve nutrients. If you're not getting it here, if this is compromised, you're not getting the right nutrients in your body, okay? So, I want to break that down. So, once the food comes to my duodenum, right? 